Hello, John Tally here with Boats.net. Today I'm going to be walking you through the process to change out the input shaft seals as well as that O-ring that's located right up under the water pump housing. Now, as you can tell, I've already got this thing removed, but if you need help doing that, why don't you reference the playlist and I can get you to this part right here. Well, there's only a couple of different parts that we need. Let's step over to the table, take a look at those, and then we'll dive into this. Okay guys, really short parts list for this one. You just need to order two of these identical seals and then go ahead and replace that O-ring while you're at it. Now, let's hop over there, get this thing pulled apart and get these installed. Housing looks okay. Maybe a little bit of cleaning needs to be done here. Let's go ahead and get our O-ring off, this other gasket and wear plate get those seals pried out, and then we'll get the new ones put in. All right, let's go ahead and get these pulled out. Yeah, not that tough. Now make note how they came out, because that's how the new ones are gonna go back in. When you're doing this, don't push the screwdriver, whatever you're using, too far. Otherwise, it'll gouge the housing, cause it to leak. There we go. What we're going to do next is I'm actually going to take it over to my parts washer, get this cleaned up, come back, then we'll get the new ones pressed in there. Let's go ahead and get our O-ring in place. Now here's where you need to pay a little bit of attention because of course Yamaha makes a special tool that drives these down to a certain depth. Now you can go purchase that tool if you'd like, but what we're going to do is just make note of where the depth was before for the previous two because you can see with a little bit of corrosion how far down they're supposed to go. So what we're going to do is just carefully drive them in to that same depth without using the tool. Whatever driver you're using, make sure that it fits, of course, on the inside. But try to get as far to the outside as you can to where you're not driving in on the center section. Actually, there's, there's not a lot of pressure required to do this. So you can just push it in by hand. And that looks like it. Because what we're basically doing is getting it down deep enough to where this top edge is even with this chamfer on the housing itself. That looks like it. Now with those in place, let's go ahead and pack some grease in between the two seals. And then we'll be ready to reinstall this. Well, all right guys, there you go. As far as the input shaft seals and O-ring goes, this pretty much finished. All I have to do now is just, well, reinstall the impeller. And if you need help doing that, if you would reference this unit's playlist and I can walk you through the rest of the process. Well, if you need any parts for your boat, why don't you come see us at Boats.net and we can get you taken care of. If you have any questions or comments thus far, why don't you leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. And hey, you like what you see? Why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that way you can keep up with whatever I'm working on next. Listen, we just want to say thank you for shopping here with us at Boats.net and we will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day.